Well, well, well. If it isn't my friends, my gang, my compadres, welcome back. We're off to another video today. I got some of my, some of my, uh, what was it? My, some of my hockey guys, some of my hockey friends on Twitter, who I've, some I've never met before, and others I've only met one time. Um, which needs to change, by the way. Gave me a subscribe, too. So thank you. Welcome. It's nice to see you guys. Even if you don't watch, but I'm gonna quiz you guys someday to make sure you are watching. But, today, let's see. Why we got this crap? We eating this to the drowned. Get out of here. Today, what we are doing is we're going to go on a little adventure. See what we can find. Last episode, we got a little bit sidetracked. But on the good part is that we got a bunch of coal. We got full iron armor and stuff like that. And now we're off on a little journey. We got this stone. Ah, oh, we'll hold on to it and kick. No, we got an axe. Get out of here. We got some food. We got some this. We're going to take a little bit of wood along with us, and we'll take the rest of this cobblestone. And I think that we're good to go. All that I want to do in this episode is just take a look at my surroundings, because we haven't really done that too, too much yet. See what we can find. Look at those salmon. And also, I need to start making, getting those sugar cane over there, and like making a big coastline, because we're going to need a lot of sugar cane for what we plan to do. And when I say we, I mean all of us, you know, because we're all together on this one. But let's see what we can find. I know there was a snow biome over there. So if we can get to the snow biome there, I know that there's going to be, there can be villages out there. There's the cow from last episode. We're coming back for you. We're going to mate you. Not you, though. Okay, maybe. There's two of you guys. We'll see what we can do for you. I'll hook you up eventually. More caves. Don't get distracted, Mitchell. Let's at least take a little peek there. Look at that jerk. I know what you did. You tried to kill me a couple times, or your brothers did. I don't know what I did to you guys, but always trying to beef with me. I don't want trouble. Ooh. Don't get too distracted. We'll take a look-see. That's it. We'll give it a little torch. And now we're back on our goal. Let's try to get to the snow snow place. See if we can find that village. Let's see. Can we get on top of the trees? Oh, look at that pro. Now we can take a good look around. See what we can find. Also in these ones, I think you can get woodland mansions. Which are pretty rare too. But I think I would have seen one by now if there was. And ooh, here we go. Back to the snow biome. I wonder if this is a snow biome or for just high enough where snow is starting to spawn. We have to be careful too, because first off there's this thing, but other things um, will, you'll get snow that'll just make you fall right through and it's a little bit scary, because <laughs> you'll start to freeze to death. Ooh, now this looks like a really cool spot that we just found here. Wow. Is this insane or what? Oh my god. This is one of the coolest... This looks like a, a, a comet, like a, a meteor smashed right into it. This is insane. This is our new cave system that we're going to be exploring, that's for sure. Let's take a look around, see what else we can find around it. This is a really, really cool spot, actually. I had no clue. None of us did when we were settling down here. Let's see what's down over there. Oh, it's getting dark. Why did I do this? Oh, no. We need to run back. <laughs> we need to explore during daytime. I didn't look at the sun. I'm the worst. All right. We... Things might get a little fuzzy out here pretty soon. We need to get to the top of the trees where the mobs can't spawn. Because I ain't good enough to do this stuff yet. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, <laughs> oh, clutch. Look at this. There's creepers already spawning. Bro, I'm clutching and there's already creepers here. Oh, no. This way. We go this way now. There's rose bushes. This is terrifying. 
This is like some Slender Man stuff running through the woods. No, pa no papers or anything like that, but geez, there sure are a lot of monsters. All right. This was a lot easier than I thought. And we're going to make a big jump for it into this water down below. If they're... Oh, hell yeah. See you later, zombie. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Did he jump too? That guy's a madman. Bro missed the water, though. Real low IQ moves for that, dude. All right. We made it. And this is why we light up this place. Now we don't have to worry about this stuff. Well, this little spot's a little bit not light enough. All right. We're going to take have a take two real quick. First, we'll eat some food. And did I have iron cooking in here? Yeah, just a little bit. We'll just throw that in with all of the rest, all of the other nine pieces. Cool. Back to our thing. Bad luck, man. We also have to keep an eye out for creepers, too, because... For the people who don't know the game too well, um, the only things that don't despawn or, like, don't burn up in the day, because skeletons and zombies will, are spiders, but they become friendly mobs so they won't bug you, and creepers, and they will continue to blow up right in your face. See, this man's dying. <laughs> Idiot. See you later. Sometimes you just gotta kill a child, you know? That's how it goes. Oh, here comes the mom and dad. I'm just bothering with these guys because it's nice to get those those levels up. What the hell is with all these zombies and stuff? See you later, idiots. Alright. Let's see if we can find our way back to where we were. Because that was one cool place. Oh, there goes my parkour streak. All right. And two Enderman. Oh, bro, we beefing. But we got to put a little roof over us so we don't die. Look at me, bitches. Idiots. Ah, he can get me. Oh, he can get me too. Oh my god. Listen how loud these guys are. We need these guys though, because if they drop ender pearls, that's how we're going to get to one of our objective of killing the ender dragon. And it's nice to get another ender ball. We got two now. I think we need 12, but probably more realistically we'll need at least like, hopefully, maybe around 20 or so. But it's nice to get two out of the way. Alright, let's see what we can find now. Let's take a, a perimeter around this stuff, see what, what we got. So we've been to this part already. And let's see what we can see when we look down here this way. I think this is where we left off, is right around here. And I wanted to see what we could see down there, because like, that looks like it goes pretty deep. And I wonder what that little light source is right there. I don't know. So we're going to have to figure that one out. But it also looks like we got a decently easy way down to go over here. This looks like some like Avatar stuff, like these giant like <laughs> little things through here. Because there's like a region in China that it was all based off of, and that's what it's reminding me of, at least. Oh, we got sheep. I'd like to think of them as mountain goats. And look, another little impact. Oh, that's probably what the light is. Just that little thing. This is friggin' dusty divot right here. It's the complete... Ooh, should we jump it? Do we die? Uh, I don't... That's not possible. Yeah, no, nah, we're... One. Let's do one more. And then we'll test our skills. Parkour. Look at that. Not even close. I'm a pro. Absolute pro. Now we got a little bridge. Cows. 
We'll need you later, too. All right. Jeez, that goes pretty deep, too. Another easy way to get down. And let's see what else we got around here. So we've kind of taken a look at this. I know what it's all about. Let's see what else we got just around the corner over here. We'll get up a little bit higher, see if we can see anything else. Nice jump, Mitchell. Let's see. Nothing too much. It is nice having all these different kinds of woods nearby, though. Which should come in handy when I'm, like, decorating my house a little bit more. Anything over here? We got some more mountains. And the cool thing, too, like, if you guys who are watching aren't too familiar with Minecraft, is... Um, a Minecraft world is about three times the size of what Earth would be. Ooh, waterfall. So there's unlimited amounts to explore. And plus, every single one's different, too, which is really, really cool. Look at this. A nice little waterfall spot, too. There's plenty of cool stuff right around here. This is a really nice view, though. Um, hopefully that turns into oceans, too, one of those ways, because that'll turn into some more stuff, too. Piggy. All right, let's see where else we can go. But yeah, every single thing, every single world in Minecraft is gonna be different. There's unlimited possibilities of how a world will spawn and stuff like that. And it's really cool how beautiful, in like just a video game can kind of be. But let's see. We only we don't have a lot of torches. But what am I doing over here? I'm I'm literally trying to eat and I'm crafting meat. <laughs> but. We have enough wood where we can at least start to, if we get some coal, we can explore this a little bit more. Because this just has to be explored, because this is a really, really cool, cool place. And who knows, let's see what else we can find while we're in here. Oh! <laughs> we ain't that good. <laughs> Been watching too much uh, Technoblade doing parkour and stuff like that. Getting caught up, getting cocky, not being good enough. Gang. I don't want any troubles, sirs. Sounds like there's a couple over here. Did we luck out and find a spawner? We did! Yes! Let's go! This is exactly what we needed. This is going to be very handy because it's not too far away from my my base and I can turn this into a mob grinder which is so handy to have we're gonna get so many levels through this let's place down some torches why'd you guys get so quiet come on come over here all right let's see what we can find So we're going to turn this into an XP farm eventually. It's better to have a skeleton one just because, like, you can get so many arrows when you do that. But just having a place where you can get some XP is very, very handy just all together. And you get a chest. Let's see what riches we have. Some horse armor, a couple pieces of coal, and nothing else. We'll take the string because you never know. But you know what? Just finding this in general is such a huge thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine up so I have a little staircase so I can find this pretty easily without having to get lost in a cave system all, like, right away. But we have to keep it lit up, too. But it's so handy to have one of these right off the bat. We are very lucky. We're going to get plenty of levels. Going to get some enchantments. Yeah, and with... Again, for those who don't watch Minecraft too often and happen to either know me and are watching or just stumbling across my, my channel, like, enchantments are really handy because what it allows you to do is it allows you to get, like, better armor, better weapons, better tools all together kind of thing. And we're really going to need uh, just absolutely great weapons uh, and armor and tools if we're going to beat the Ender Dragon.
Because that guy, that guy is a beast, man. I'm telling you. Ooh, perfect. Let's just get this lit up a little bit, and then we can fight this man. Oh, get wrecked. Not hit even once. Three hit. So this is a very good spot, too. So we will... We'll do this. We'll, we'll make a little tower here. And then it should be a lot easier for us to find. And I'll make a few more torches, just so I can... Let's see. We're not going to have a lot of torches because we only found three pieces of coal in that thing, but it'll be handy for us to find it. And then we won't have to worry too much about here. Let's see. And I think our next goal is to get the heck out of Dodge right over our bridge. This is very easy to get to. But yeah, we're going to get out of Dodge real quick because it's, I think, about to get dark again. Yes, it is. We'll, we'll make a better staircase down here eventually. It's just escape time. There we go. Okay, oh, that was just sheep eating. Let's eat a piece of lamb. And then we're out. This has been a pretty productive episode, too. We're finding everything that we need. But this is going to be a little bit further of a trip, I think. But we're going to make it. Not a worry. We're going to take the leaves. Because if I remember right. You don't. Uh, mobs can't spawn on leaves. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in a different episode. And plus down on the lower level. It gets a little bit sketchy too. Because you never know what's behind these big big trees. I'm pretty sure it's that way. So let's keep heading back. But we should be the... Yes. Because I remember those from last time. The only thing that I'm... I guess I'm really, like, not scared or anything. But uh, <laughs> I'm nervous about is skeletons. Because those guys have, have like, friggin' legoless aim. Alright, we're down in the trees, I guess. Um, and they'll just beat you up. Creepers are scary, too, because they'll sneak up on you. But skeletons are what'll get me more. Sneak on. Uh-oh, we're going to hide now. There goes those guys, but we're getting through here. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, no. I thought that was going to be a lot more epic of a jump into the water. What was that noise? See ya. That was a scary noise that I do not recognize. But we made it. We home. We are home. Sleep. Get this out of here. Eat a little food, just in case something sneaks up on us. But yeah, gang, I think that's the end of a pretty productive episode. We're going to need some more work on our base eventually. But man, am I enjoying just exploring around with all you guys. But yeah, this will be the end of this episode. Thanks again. Thanks so much for watching. Let me give a... Not the F3. F5. Oh. And thanks again. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.